Right, good afternoon, once over to another here. Coming to you on an awesome summer day in Germany to give you My Week Without a Drink, Part 2. Welcome back to the channel, friends. This is My Week Without a Drink, Part 2. And I told you that we were going to go over how to get your Free Your Ghost bracelet that I have here. And just open this up. Comes with a cool little card from her that has her website on it. Um, Ghost in My Bedroom on Facebook at Ghost in My Bedroom, as well as Twitter at Free Your Ghost and Instagram at Free underscore Your underscore Ghost, where you can find some of her uh materials and be able to check out some of her videos because she's pretty daggone awesome and this is the bracelet that i'm going to be giving away all you have to do is watch the videos to the end subscribe to the channel uh, also in the comments leave a hashtag free your ghost and i'll turn that back around because that's not cool and also follow me on Instagram and follow um, AK Free Your Ghost on Twitter. I'll leave all the links below so that way you're in the know. So, my week without a drink part two. Where do I begin? There's so much going on. For me, it wasn't as stressful as it was on the last video as well as for um, a video that I had on holding resentments because I not only let go of that resentment, I was able to talk to the person face to face and resolve that all together. Why is my week without a drink important? It's important because a lot of the things that happen during your day, your week, or even one hour can shape the way you think about alcohol, can shape the way you think about addiction, and can influence whether you use or you don't use. There's so much going on. I'm going to start with the obvious. Um, with all the shootings going on in law enforcement and everything else. Now, generally, I don't like to talk about these things because they stir up a lot of controversy, but they do influence our behaviors. So I had a whole list of all the people um, who have been wrongfully shot by police in just August alone and that list got a little extensive, so I didn't want to go line by line on those. However, what I will do is I'm gonna leave every single name in the description below so that you are able to look them up yourselves and see what happened with those incidences because they are senseless and they do drive a lot of hatred in our country and they are dividing us back to square one. The presidential campaign altogether, as it's kicking up to be on the left and the right, the Republican and the Democrat and on, it's just nasty. Um, A, I don't know how the hell we still have Donald Trump in office, although that may start controversy itself. I'm going to say it anyway, because I am an American and that's my right. He's a cartoon character who should not be sitting in a place where he has the ability to make global decisions as well as local decisions within the United States. He's like a giant baby who needs to be cured of his own self. Um, much like in alcoholism, we are giant babies and we have to be able to look beyond that instant gratification and that need to be accepted by everybody that we come across. and. Most times, more than not, as an alcoholic, that's exactly what I did. I did what I had to do to blend in, and I did what I had to do to get what I needed, and I did what I did to be accepted among certain groups. Once I was done with those groups and those needs, I discarded the person, and I discarded the people, and I discarded the situation altogether, and I just washed my hands of it and moved about my day until the next person came along that I could get something from. I hesitate because, you know, there, there's so much that I could talk about right now that it, it's just, it, it, it's, it's mind boggling to have to 
juggle around which is more important because all are equally important. However, I can't ignore, you know, the race division in the United States. The 17 year old kid that ended up shooting uh, some folks during a riot of a demonstration in Wisconsin, he is at all faults for a bringing a rifle to a demonstration. You only have one intent if you have a rifle, that's to either kill or hurt somebody. And the fact that he used that uh, demonstrates exactly what his intent was. I know he's 17, but at 17 you can make babies and you can make bad decisions as well. So he deserves to be held accountable for that. And also the police deserve to be held accountable for their actions as well. And how that relates to alcoholism and addiction is that people respond to all these situations um, like I said in the beginning of this, differently. Um, if you're an alcoholic or a drug user, it might be your excuse to go use again. And I mean, shit, why not? Why not get drunk? Because it's, you're not gonna change the world if you drink or not. And who's it gonna fuck over, right? Well, as the alcoholic or the drug user, it's only gonna damage you. I challenge you to do this. Get some coping skills. If you don't have any, there are plenty of resources available for you that can teach you coping skills in order to deal with your stressors and your triggers and the events that happen from day to day. You don't have to pick up a drink and you don't have to use. And if that's your go-to, it's even more important that you learn different skills to deal with different situations instead of the one is getting you nowhere, the alcohol, the drug use, and I know it's hard to break away from those norms and it's hard to use a different approach in order to get away from uh, those stressors. And if you need help, reach out and ask for help. I mean, this is actually a caveat to my video from, from the other day, you know, how does your movie end? You are the director of your own movie. So if you know how it's going to end, it's up to you to change the beginning by either that first drink or that first drug. Only you can make the choices to not do it. And if you need help with those, reach out because that is as important as it is. And we do care about you. And definitely I care about you. And in my alcohol use, you know, that was the first thing I did. I didn't even look at the movie. I just, I just freaking skipped over it and used anyway and I drank and uh, saturated my brain and saturated my ability to make a decision. And that's really why I'm going with this is, is there's only one way around it. And that's for you to not pick up that first drink or to use that first. I'm here for you, once over to another. I mean, my week without a drink was pretty, uh, pretty easy. And that's only because I've been practicing my skills for the last four and a half years. And so day to day, if I come across a trigger, I'm able to quickly navigate that and come back to reality and know that I don't have to go get a drink. You know, and that's what I want for you. And if you've getting anything out of this video, you know, if you're getting any value, hit that like button below. And if you have any comments on anything that I brought up or something that's on your mind, drop that comment below, I'll, I'll respond to it. And if I don't, I know someone else will. You know, um, we're, we're only as strong as our weakest link, right? Let's get back on track together. And change only comes through action, you know. Um, so, get active, get after it. This is once over to another. This has been my week without a drink. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can be punk, become one of the... You can become a part of the once over to another squad and we can keep this thing rolling. Life's a garden, dig it. I'll see you in the next one.